Hello. Weaker economic students tend to conflate or mix budget deficits and national debt and income and wealth. And one of the reasons they do this is because they are unaware of the difference between the concept of a flow and of a stock. Hopefully this video will make the difference clear. A flow is a movement past a, po a particular point in a given time. Any flow must have a time component. So for example, with my rather elegant diagram here, I'm showing a flow of water into a tank. Now when we turn this tap on, water flows, and for that to mean anything, water must flow at a particular rate. For example, past this point might come two litres a minute. If I leave the tap on for one minute, we know that two litres will have flowed past the end of the tap. If I turn the tap off, the flow is now zero. The water will be sitting in this tank and there will be two litres of water now in the tank. Neglecting the effect of evaporation, if we left the room and came back several hours later, there would still be two litres of water in the tank. The stock amount of water in that tank is not defined in terms of time, but is an absolute amount. A flow adds to a stock and of course can detract from a stock also. Now how does this matter for A-level or IB economics? Well, the principal flow that people tend to come across at this level of economics is income. If you are asked your income, you must reply with some element of time. Uh, how much are you paid? Oh, $2,000. $2,000 what? An hour? A week? A month? So income must have as an identifiable con construct an element of time associated with it. Income adds to the stock of an individual's wealth. Indeed, we define wealth as the monetary value of the stock of assets that an individual possesses. A house, savings, these constitute one's wealth. The second flow that I want us to think about is that of a budget deficit. Budget deficits are in the news for very good reasons, and as we saw in another economics video, uh, the budget deficit can be funded by the issuing of bonds. But a budget deficit means that a government is spending more than it's raising in tax in a particular time period. The budget deficit, therefore, if it is positive, adds to the stock of outstanding national debt that a country currently has. Both of these require bonds to finance them, but a national debt is a stock of borrowing, whereas a budget deficit is a flow of borrowing in a particular time period. 